Hello, it's Lana with Money and Merlot. So for today's Monday Market Minutes, um, I first need to acknowledge that it's Tuesday, um, Monday version two, maybe, maybe not a Monday, but anyway. If you caught last week's video, Monday Market Minutes, I left you with some homework to consider, two pieces to consider. When you are ready to begin your investing journey, um, where will you pull, do you have a source of funds for your, um, your initial investment? And then secondly, do you have the ability to do reoccurring investments? So that's really where it gets into building out your budget and finding that $20 a month, that $200 a month finding something whatever's available in your budget and committing to it and then putting it into um, an automated vehicle of sorts so you don't even see it you don't have to do it yourself you just pull it directly from your or, or it's pulled directly from your paycheck or it's pay, pulled directly from your checking account when your your um, paycheck is deposited However you want to do it, you could even um, set it up to pull out like at the beginning of the month, the 15th of the month, and send it to whatever investment vehicle you choose. So if you wanted to get into the, a brokerage account, you could just send that money straight over. Just send it, set it up as a, um, an automatic transfer. When you do a um, a transfer like that, and, and you're committed to that sort of recurring transfer, that's what's commonly referred to as dollar cost averaging. So that helps to where you're not trying to time the market, you're not trying to time anything, trying to beat anything, trying to win anything. You're just making your commitment and saying, I'm gonna put in this $20 a week and it, it's going to be in the investment vehicle when and where I need it. So we can go, we can dive more into that later, but um, I have a couple more minutes. I'd like to go back to one of the first three questions that I would ask you um, that I talked about in last week's video if you if we were sitting down together one of the first things i would ask would are you in a retirement account so there are so many options for retirement accounts and there are so many strategies to this some people might completely max out their retirement accounts maybe some are not you can put in a percentage of your paycheck if you have an employer sponsored account you can put in a percentage or you can put in a set amount for every paycheck and what you want to be aware of is that most places not everywhere but most places certainly um, if you're in the TSP you should know that you've got like 10 five major funds and then five life cycle funds something like that and you can choose which one of those you want your funds to go into. And what that means is you're gonna get a different return on all of those because they're going to invest your dollars for you differently. So your retirement account is not a savings account. It's not just going somewhere to sit. It's actually going to be invested for you. If you, I believe other companies might have like, um, a Vanguard or a Fidelity or something like that managing their employees retirement accounts and you would also have the option to go into those and look at your retirement account and select how you want your dollars to be invested. I'm going to use the example from TSB because that's what I'm familiar with. There is the G Fund which most people's money goes into. And that's possibly worse 
than setting it in a savings account because you might get like a 1% return on that. Or you could direct your money to something like the C fund or the S fund. And there are, those are at 20, 25% returns this year. Me personally, I am in a life cycle fund. I'm thinking about moving to a C and S mixture, but I am in a life cycle fund because it's not been the highest priority for me to actively manage my TSP. And so a life cycle fund will do that for you in a mix. Time flies. I'm gonna pause. And in a, next week or in a couple weeks, um, I'll talk more about IRAs, individual retirement accounts, and what you can do with those. Bye, y'all.